wow it's so interesting i just wanted to make a video on why i want to live in a van the lease of the place near usc is ending at the end of this month and my plan is to try living in a vehicle right now i'm currently staying with a friend in the west side closer to my workplace which has been nice before I hopefully get a vehicle where I can sleep in. Reasons why I want to live in a van is that I want to try living by myself in terms of like I just want to have a space where all of it belongs to me and none of it belongs to anybody else. I know that it's going to be a little hard or maybe not exactly how I imagine it because even though the inside might be all mine, none of the outside, like where I park or where to go to the bathroom is going to be mine. So yes, compromises. I'm also ready to own where I live and hopefully I invest in a good enough vehicle because I don't want to keep paying rent to somebody that I don't know. If it was somebody that I knew, then I would kind of feel good about how much they were charging me or like where my money is going because you know we're friends. So I'm giving them money for the place I'm staying, but then also I guess kind of building friendship <laughs> so I don't like the idea of paying how much ever amount of money for something when I could be paying that amount of money to actually own it as opposed to like just leasing a place because the housing market is going up landlords want to charge more for their rent to make more money and people who don't have money <laughs> need to find another place because they can't keep up with the rent payments. And I think that if I own a house, I will not have to deal with that, hopefully, as much. I also would like to save money, and if I do this right and invest in the right type of vehicle that doesn't break down, where the cost of maintenance does not cost more, than just renting a nicer place with a bathroom and a shower with plumbing. Then I'll be saving more money to put towards owning a house someday. I also kind of want flexibility in where I live. So if I were to rent a place, I would have less means of exploring the other neighborhoods of the city say I want to go to the OC, like 40 miles away, 40 or 50 miles away for the weekend. I wouldn't be able to do that, I think, as much if I was renting based on my income because I would have to drive there and then since I'm renting a place, I would have to drive back instead of just driving my house to wherever I want to go and spending the night there. So before I actually embark on this journey, just my a couple feelings and thoughts that I have is what do I feel like life is gonna be like I gather a lot of inspiration from youtuber named Hobo Alley I like watching her because uh, she shows the bare minimum when I first started watching van life videos or getting into the rabbit hole of van life uh, it was a lot of like white folks who built structures in their van and I was just thinking like that looks really cool but I don't think that I could do it like I don't think that I am up for building something with tools and wood and installing lighting in a vehicle so it's like cool to watch other people do it but I don't think I could do it and Hobo Alley she first started out in a car so I was just thinking like okay she, she can sleep in a car and I can probably try it out and, and see what it's like. But she also is currently in a van with no electrical lighting 
wired into the van. She just has like some lanterns and some battery powered fans and I've seen where she's gone to where she is now, like how she organized her Jeep Liberty and that I thought was really cool. So watching her YouTube video makes me feel like van life is, is achievable for diff a different type of means than having, I don't know, 15,000 or 50,000 to put down. I'm aware that I might not make it, of course, because every single time I say I want to live in a van, people are not like, oh, that's so cool. Like, oh, I have other people who have done it or like, oh, I can help you. A lot of the uh, reactions that I've gotten have been, what? I think that there is a chance that I might not like it and I'm open to that. So thinking like, oh, I want to live in a van and be best case scenario, I live in there. I, I find a place and or I find a vehicle and I live there for a year, maybe two, hopefully five. I don't know. I might also stay in a van for like a couple days a week and think, you know, it's cool that I tried it out. I don't think this is for me. And I will have checked something off my list as opposed to leaving it unchecked and always wondering, which is something that I've done in my life, I guess. I've also tried it out while I was vacationing with a friend. Thank you, friend, for toughing it out with me. I had made, I guess, two bad decisions. One was deciding to stay in a place simply because I had heard about it but didn't really know much about it and I didn't realize that it would be so hot that night. So it's 12 a.m. and it's still 80 degrees outside which means in the van it's like 80 degrees and it was really uncomfortably hot to be in such a small space. It was like impossible to sleep. So lesson learned, do not dock to sleep in a vehicle where it is 80 plus degrees. I'm probably gonna try to keep it to like 70 because I could always put on more layers, but I cannot make it cooler in the van. I don't, I, I'm interested in knowing how to get air conditioning in the van, but I'm also worried about how much it's going to really cost and I think it's just making this video it's very very important to get a decent vehicle because if I end up paying money for something that I will need to fix very soon like a costly fix or like just need to buy another vehicle it will not be worth it. I'm also interested in seeing curious to see if I can survive like my morning poops because I wake up and I need to go right away will I be able to deal with the smells inside the van or like showering but overall I am really excited to try out this lifestyle to see what it's like and to see where it takes me how I'm gonna grow all the places that I'll go and even if that is just like down the street that would be cool I'm looking forward to it